A doggone delicious cake for the canine pal in your life. Hello, my dears. It's time for another episode of Bake Me Up Buttercup. Today, I have an extra special recipe to share. It is the 13th birthday of my very, very dear dog, Taryn. So to celebrate, we will be baking him a birthday cake. Oh, I just know he's going to love it, so we better get started. In a medium bowl, measure out one cup of whole wheat flour. You can also use all-purpose flour if you don't have whole wheat. Add in one teaspoon of baking soda. Give these a good whisk to combine. In a separate bowl, add two tablespoons of vegetable oil. one egg, swoop, one half cup of unsweetened applesauce, and one quarter cup natural peanut butter. Be sure that there are no artificial sweeteners in your peanut butter. There are a very select few brands of peanut butter that use xylitol as an artificial sweetener. And this is quite toxic to dogs. Always read that label. Mix these all together well. Next, add in your flour mixture. and stir to combine. Add in about a third of a cup of water to help thin that batter out. Next, you will need a well-greased cake tin. I have this adorable bone-shaped tin that I will be trying out, but you can also use a regular eight-inch round tin for this cake as well. Let's pour our cake mixture into our tin. And spread it out evenly. This cake will need to bake at 350 degrees Fahrenheit for about 20 to 30 minutes. While we are waiting for the cake to cool, let's make a simple pup-friendly frosting. All you need for this is one half cup of plain Greek yogurt. one quarter cup of peanut butter, and one tablespoon of honey. You can certainly leave the honey out if you would like to reduce the sugar content, but I know my Taryn has a bit of a sweet tooth. Mix well until it is nice and creamy. Perfect doggy frosting. Now let's decorate Taryn's birthday cake. Sweet Taryn is a Welsh Springer Spaniel. He came home with us way back in August of 2008. From the very beginning, he had quite a mischievous streak, but he was so gosh darn cute that you could never stay mad at him for long. He was close with our previous dog, Kiba, and after she parted, he helped us welcome in a new little sister into the family, Blair. And here's a fun little fact. He was also the ring bearer in our wedding. Taryn has the most gentle spirit and has never met anyone he didn't like. He is very dear to my heart. Now that our cake is finished, there is only one thing left to do. Share it with the birthday boy.
What a fun and quick recipe! If you have a special canine friend in your life, consider giving this cake a try! And yes, I know what you all are thinking. I'm a dog too, right? So therefore, I should also enjoy this cake. Well, I suppose I could give it a try. You know, it's actually not that bad. The cake itself is fairly moist. And while it's not got a lot of flavor in it, I have to say the icing is actually delicious. I kind of enjoy it. Thank you all for joining me today in celebrating my dear doggy's birthday. Be sure to wish him a happy birthday in the comments below and share with me stories about your own beloved pets. If you are looking for another canine approved tree, check out my recipe on homemade dog biscuits. Oh, I've also started a TikTok channel. I've been slowly posting my recipe videos from YouTube in a shortened version there. And I'm planning on sharing some tips and tricks and the like as well. So if short video content is more your thing, be sure to check me out at Bake Me Up Buttercup on TikTok. Much love to all of you. Until next time. <laughs> we ate the whole thing. He just grabbed that whole cake in one go. You just swallowed it. Oh, I'm so sorry. 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 Oh,